Good morning. It's Rick Clapp, and I'm here with The Breeze, Bay Area Houston Magazine, and Go Baja! <laughs> Well, we're back here to the Bay Breeze, and we're here with our next guest, Maureen Howard. Good morning, Maureen. Good morning, Rick. No, you look delightful today. It's uh, Valentine's, and uh, you're nice and pink, and uh, I see you've got uh, our favorite <laughs> holiday coming up with the, the Mardi Gras Yachty Gras. It's that time of the year. We'll be in the director of the Yachty Gras. Tell us about what's going on this year. This year, we are having a three-day event. It will start with a kickoff party at Sundance Grill on March the 4th at 7 o'clock. That's going to be a fantastic party. We're going yeah, to. Yeah, what's involved? I hear music, food, auction. We have um, music and we're going to have a silent auction and a live auction. And so far, we have a massive amount of presents that have come in for door prizes. Right. As well as um, the auction items are great. Well, we know that Hans is known. The Sundance Grill, I mean, is known for their cuisine. Is it going to be a buffet or sit-down dinner, or what will we have that night? We will have a buffet and a cash bar. Oh, okay. So it'll be a really great party. And you've got Abel on the on the keys, right, playing some great party music. Abel, known <laughs> around right. this bay to crank everybody up and have a good time. We're going to do the uh, handkerchief dance this we year. We are. We're going. We're going to have the that umbrella. Would be great. The umbrella and excellent. So we're going to bring a little uh, New Orleans Les Le Bon Ton Roulé to, uh, to the Clear Lake area. Well tell me, uh, Yachty Gras was started about how long ago? Yachty Gras was started in 1999 and it was started by a couple that live in Seabrook and they just wanted to go out and have fun one evening. So they got some of their friends together and they went by the boardwalk and three beads and that's how it started. Well, I'll tell you what, I was there along with yourself when it first started. It was just a couple bo boats, uh, Roy and um, uh, Les Leslie. Leslie. We took the boats out, had a couple whiskeys on board, and we threw the beads <laughs> to the boardwalk. And ever since then, now the boardwalk is packed. When they see Yachty Gras being advertised mm -hmm. over there at uh, Landry's and off the Pima Bridge, they know something good's coming because families come out. Uh, the weather can be raining, it can be cold, it can be hot. You still get a massive crowd, and each year we get more and more boats in the parade. Is that correct? That's right. It's amazing that people line up at least 10 to 12 deep from one end of the boardwalk to the other to catch these speeds. And Ike did not prevent this event. We had it last year, and it was a big success. We had it at Madeline's and the kickoff party, and this yeah. year, of course, is at Sundance. And... Um, when is the parade and the judging and all that? When do we go on the boats and throw the beads? That will be March the 5th, and that's Saturday night. And what will happen is the boats will line up right at the mouth of the Clear Lake Channel, and they will come up the channel, go past the boardwalk, loop back around, and just keep looping as long as yes. they're in the mood to throw beads. It is a very colorful event, and... Uh, how can they get in touch with you if they want to get tickets? Tickets are available. They're pretty reasonable too, aren't they? Yes, there are two ways. You can go to yachtygraw.com and buy tickets online through PayPal, and they're $25 a ticket, which is quite reasonable for all the gifts we're Very, going to be giving yeah. away. Door prizes <laughs> and everything. Right. I know everybody's looking forward to it. It's a really colorful event. It's at uh, Sundance. Hans will put on a great show, but I want to. it all started with the uh, mermaid. The official poster, each year there's a mermaid. Let's see, this year's a mermaid, your creation. Yes, I uh, paint these mermaids, and I came on board as the executive director in 2002, and we had a mermaid contest. And right, I remember. <laughs> and what came in with these mermaids wasn't exactly the image we wanted. Right. And I guess it was in my mind and I didn't know it and I sat down over Christmas and painted them and, and was totally surprised and even today I'm surprised at how wonderful they all turn out. Well it's a signature event, something very creative and something that is very unique to call it Yachty Gras with lots of the beautiful yachts from Lakewood Yacht Club, yes. from South Shore Harbor, from Watergate Marina and from all over the lake and from Austin people come in to to bring their boats and participate and throw in those beads 
to the boardwalk. The kids love it, and it's a great event, and we appreciate you putting it on every year. But the monies go to scholarships, right, and to different organizations locally. Yes, every year we choose one or two nonprofits, 501c3s, that we donate the money back to. And this year we're donating the money to the Jeanette Williams Foundation for Children's Cancer Research. And the camps the kids and go to. And their summer yeah. camps. And we specify that the money go to the summer camps because that way we know for every $500 we raise, it, Each sent, child it sends a child and their family Excellent. to summer camps. If you want to get come out and have less a bon ton roulet, which means have a great time, in Cajun, then we are <laughs> French, well, come to the Sundance Grill. What's the date? March the 4th. Tickets are? $25. And food, drink, music, and lots of fun and revelry. And uh, the boat parade? Is March the 5th. The Yachty Grab boat parade, March the 5th. Make sure you don't miss that. Starts either at 7, 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock, either be a yachter, boater, Come get your beads, right? Yep. With When you sign up, you get a bag full of beads and uh, come out and throw them at the boardwalk and have some fun with all the kids and enjoy a great Mardi Gras, right? That's right. And, and let me tell you one other thing we have. We have an after parade party, and that after parade party is at uh, Outrigger's Restaurant. Oh, great. Yeah, Outrigger's so, overlooks yeah. the uh, water there, the uh, channel. It's a mm -hmm. great viewing spot. and. Go and see our friends over there. And um, and then on Sunday, the 6th, we have a wonderful awards ceremony. And we give... At Outriggers uh, as well. No, we have that back at Sundance. Uh, it's where we have the awards. And we give Best of Show and then First, Second, and Third in Power and Sale. So the boats get decorated up and so you'll be giving those awards the following Sunday. Right. Well, wonderful. So you've got... The Sundance Grill is a kickoff. You've got the parade on the channel. Then you've got the Outriggers party afterwards, the, where all the boaters go and enjoy afterwards. Um, a few of their fine beverages and enjoy <laughs> some good food, but also a great band, usually they have. And uh, Mr. Sam Perry does a great job there. And uh, then you've got, to wrap things up, the, uh, the, the parade uh, recognition and the awards which would be back at Sundance, Bloody Marys and lots of fun and, and a brunch. Well, great, Maureen, we appreciate you being oh, uh, here you. today and thank you for being on the show. And like you say, let's go ball to the room. Let's party. Yachty Gras, let's party. <laughs> thank you. Hey, Barry Houston, it's Jennifer and Amber, your movie mavens, and we're here today for our next movie review. I have to tell you, I got a little bit too scared to go see the right, so we ended up seeing Romeo and Juliet. Uh, the Bay Area Houston Magazine is going to have a special section called Bay Area Kids, so we thought it was a great way to transition into the new section. The movie itself was great. It was a takeoff on the classic love story, story Romeo and Juliet. However, it's told by Garden Gnomes, and the soundtrack is Elton John. Uh, we brought my two kids, and my nine-year-old loved it, my three-and-a-half-year-old. Oh, they, they thought it was great. Yeah, we kept their attention, and it still had adult jokes where Amber and I uh, found it interesting as well. Um, as, overall, we give it three-and-a-half margarita glasses. <laughs> A great show today. Now we've got someone really unique and different and really exciting. I have my guest today, Kylie Frazier, who's uh, creating her own uh, jewelry. Yep. Yeah, so it's, uh, what is it called? Island Jewels, right? Kyla's Island Jewels. So, Kyla, when did you get started with this uh, little business of yours? This little endeavor. <laughs> yeah, quite an endeavor, I would think. Um, about a year ago. I started into this. I've been making things all my life, and I just right. I went in to actually to learn how to uh, emulate a cross that I saw that I have. It's beautiful beaded cross, and instead of doing that, I've learned to uh, make jewelry, and it just 
expanded from there. Well, this is just this is some of the jewelry you've made, right? This cross yes. that you're wearing. Yes. Why don't you show a little bit? Turn towards the okay. camera. There's some beautiful pieces of Thank work. Thank you. This and is explain, tur well, explain this is turquoise. Us. I was inspired to do this for the rodeo. Um, this is sterling silver and and turquoise matching. Uh, bracelet, earrings, I have other designs of earrings and some coral pieces that can also go with that. So. All handmade, right? Oh yes, totally. Totally so, and very well made. So um, in your other life you're a... I'm a registered nurse. Right. I've been a registered nurse for about 23 years. And this uh -huh. seems to be your passion, right? You enjoy yes. making the jewelry. Yes. Well, everybody knows you as a fashion hound around town. <laughs> uh, I think that's no, quite I nice. Everything. Well, I also, uh, <laughs> along with your jewelry, I see that you're, you've created a, a new niche that I know you're excited about, and uh, tell us a little bit about that. I have. Um, I've decided to go into a, a whole new line, and that is for our poochies, our little animal furry friends. No kidding. And match for the dogs. To match our, our dogs. Wonderful. Our, you there know, are companions said, these days, our, they are, our dogs. And, you know, if, if you have a ferret or anything else you wanted to put it on, you certainly could. I've just... Uh, I've just decided to do it with the the pups, so you know I've I'm, I'm going with the name Poochie Jewels. Poochie Jewels, okay. Not like Gucci, Great. but Poochie Jewels. I love it. P U C C I. I love it. And Great. Uh, and if and if someone wanted to contact me, uh, it'd be Poochie Jewels at Gmail. dot com, and I'm working on a website right so now. So you can customize uh, jewelry for. That particular dog, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Whether it was a Great Dane right. or even a small little um, right, little girls, little boys. Chihuahua. I've done matching jewelry so far. You know, uh, for other people right now, um, if they had females, I'd make them masters uh, the the owner, the dog owner, with more elaborate necklace. Right. Because that's what I'm used to making anyway. Some sure. pretty things for the women or, or men and just nice handsome things for the men. And and then a more uh, more toned down for the dogs. More simple because uh, it's not meant to be a collar. It's a necklace. Do we have a model today? I do. <laughs> well, let's My see. little Valentine present. All right. Happy that's right. It's Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's. Yeah, happy Valentine's. Um, I claim Pasquale. He's my little Pasquale. Uh, his registered name is Bobinome, uh, Micro Bivo Bobinome, and it means tiny little Bivo stud. And Isn't he beautiful? What kind of dog is he? He is a long haired Chihuahua. Wow, and, cute! Uh, Mark bought him for me, uh, and uh, he's just my little uh, companion. We and do, we do our jewelry together. Will he get much bigger than that? Uh, not much, but. We were uh, at the boats yesterday and saw one that was uh, started out this right, small right. and was just a little bit bigger. And well, I have to isn't say, isn't he handsome? Isn't that beautiful with the jewelry? These wearing the same similar yes. uh, necklace that his owner you That's are. Of course. Huh? <laughs> hey, that is beautiful. Like so the whole yeah, I really would. I love dogs. So. <laughs> oh wow, he smells like you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's the sweetheart. Ah, Pasquale, ah. And his brothers are Brendel, so that was... So you're going to make your mama rich, huh? With, <laughs> with a Poochie, right? Poochie. Yeah, Poochie Jewel. The new corporation, Poochie. I love it. Thank well, you, Well, here's Rick. your little pooch back. And uh, Kyla, it's a pleasure to have oh, you on the show. Oh, my goodness. And Rick, now, if they want to get a hold of you, um, how do they get a hold of you uh, through well, PoocheeJewels.com or... P Poochie Jewels, that's P-U-C-C-I, Jewels.com. Oh, well, at it's poochiejewels at gmail dot com, and uh, I work at the Cosmetic Vein Center also, so they could right, always find right. me there. Well, I tell you what, if you ever have to have your veins done by probably the best, without a doubt, without a doubt, Mark Skellinger, yeah, Dr. Mark Skellinger, over on Bay Area Boulevard, that's Cosmetic um, Vein Center, Vein um, Center, yeah, yeah well known yes, all over the world, really. Yes, very People come, we, come from all over. They absolutely do, um, even other countries. We've even had some doctors this last year come and train with him from other mm -hmm. countries, and um, as well as here in Houston. But, uh, yeah, we do varicose veins and spider veins and Botox and Juvederm and laser to the face. And so you're all part of, spider that, veins all. All part of that beauty, right? Taking uh, care of yourself through your face, through your, right. your uh, diet, and also like a beautiful woman like you, beautiful oh, jewelry. Yes. And uh, you all need to get a little dog like this, so... <laughs> Uh, Kyla, we appreciate you coming right. on the show today, and, Thank you so and uh, much. we'll do more as you get. 
your jewelry, oh, good. you have a whole line, right? I you, have an idea. Not just for rodeo and turquoise. You've got oh. some other things. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah. I have beautiful um, pearls. I, I have a set that's just with Swarovski crystals and Fabulous. green pearls. and uh, I'm So you've got something probably to even to put together for Mardi Gras absolutely. with you and your dog, right? Wouldn't absolutely. that be nice? Absolutely. I'm going to be a sponsor to Great. Mardi Gras. Yes, yeah, I'll sponsor. be donating some Great. for your silent Great. auction, yes. Well, again, thanks for coming. Right, we appreciate you, you taking the time appreciate to be here. Appreciate it. And thanks, happy Kyle. Valentine's. Look, happy Valentine's. You too. <laughs>
March 20th. Which is a Sunday, starts at 11 o'clock? Starts at noon and goes till 10 p.m. And then there's gonna be an after party at Riptide Surf Bar. Fantastic. And we're hoping for great weather. And uh, remember to uh, support the bands and uh, you know tip your bartenders and spend some money out there and uh, enjoy yourself. And um, you know, we plan on doing this. Uh, we're a sponsor, Bayer Houston Magazine and Go Baja will be uh, sponsoring the event, coming out there and filming and taking pictures. And we look for a great time. Let's right. do it. All Sounds right, good. All right. See you there at the concert. I'm oh, really anticipating the Spring Break 2011 Music Unity Freedom Festival. Lots of great bands, lots of great vendors, lots of great sponsors. March 20th at Pareto Beach. Be there. <laughs>